As Japanese food becomes ever more popular, chefs want to know more about the intricacy involved. Some of the top chefs in New York have gathered to study the traditional skills of the Japanese kitchen, exploring the secrets of its rich culinary culture. The seminar was intended to restore the safe and delicious reputation of Japanese food products in the aftermath of the March 11th disaster. NHK World's Maki Hatae reports. More than 40 chefs gathered Thursday in the kitchen of one of the most prestigious French restaurants in New York, Danielle, not to learn about sauces and wines, but to discover the art of traditional Japanese cooking. In front of some of the most famous and talented young chefs, Japanese sushi chef is demonstrating ikejime, the traditional and humane way to prepare seafood and preserve freshness for cooking. Toshio Suzuki, a veteran Japanese chef from a New York sushi restaurant, was called in to demonstrate how to safely handle raw fish in a kitchen and how to do ikejime, an ancient method using skewers to paralyze and bleed the fish to maintain its freshness and quality and develop umami in the fish's flesh, a savory flavor at the heart of Japanese food. The young chefs were eager to learn the method firsthand. They used Japanese sashimi knives to try out the new technique. The care, and the attention, uh, the appreciation for the product. Very, very impressive. It's very nice to see a, a very old uh, Japanese technique who's been practiced for you know centuries, you know, to uh, keep it you know going like this. This seminar was planned with help from the Consulate General of Japan by a renowned chef in New York, Daniel Bulu, who traveled to Kamaishi, Japan, a hard-hit area by the disaster last year, to cook for people living in shelters. My trip to Japan was very, very uh, uh, enlightening and, and, and uh, I could see how much the commitment of everyone there to make sure that their food is protected, their food is continued to be the reference of excellence there. And I think uh, that's what will make the difference. Though fear and rumor have affected the reputation of Japanese food products in the aftermath of the disaster, Chef Bulu believes people in New York are regaining their trust and love for Japanese food all over again. Maki Hatae, NHK World, New York.